Duchess Meghan skips Invictus Games event, Prince Harry says being pregnant takes its toll. Pregnant Duchess Meghan opens a new window. Didn't accompany husband Prince Harry opens a new window. To Invictus Games events in Sydney on Sunday, October 21st, as a spokesperson explained that she is cutting back her schedule while on tour in Australia. After a busy program, the Duke and Duchess have decided to cut back the Duchess's schedule slightly for the next couple of days, ahead of the final week and a half of the tour, the palace said in a statement. The prince attended road cycling events solo on Sunday morning and told some of the competitors that his wife was resting back at home, being pregnant takes its toll. Meghan later joined her husband for lunch at the pavilion with Invictus team members and their families and friends. The former Suits star, who announced on Monday, October 15, that she is expecting her first child with Harry, compared pregnancy to jet lag in a conversation earlier this week and told another person that she was running on adrenaline and feeling a bit tired. She also revealed that she had been doing prenatal yoga at 4.30 a.m. when she can't sleep. Meghan, who is 15 weeks pregnant, had a hectic start to her first international royal tour. After skipping Harry's cousin Princess Eugenie's evening wedding reception on October 12 so that they could take a 24-hour flight to Australia, the couple have made appearances all around the country. The day after their arrival they flew to Dubbo for a meeting with drought-stricken farmers, jetted to Melbourne, where Meghan threw around a football, and talked with mental health advocates on Bondi Beach. On Saturday, October 20, the couple attended the opening of the 2018 Invictus Games, which Harry founded four years ago for wounded veterans. On Monday, October 22, they are heading to Fraser Island in Queensland as previously scheduled. The Sun's Emily Andrews tweeted, however, that Meghan won't do any engagements there. It's been an exhausting week, and although the Duchess hasn't had any morning sickness, she has been very tired, she wrote opens a new window. The newlyweds are on a 16-day tour of Australia that will also take them to Fiji, Tonga, and New Zealand. The Duchess is set to give birth in spring 2019.